Valentino giving me soup. Thank you, Mo Prem. Thank you for doing this with us tonight. Um, uh, you know, it, it's been 27 years, and no matter how long time passes, when you lose a family member, um, time doesn't heal all wounds, most people will say. I'd like to get your reaction, though, that at least we may be on the road to some justice. You're right. Um, you, we never stop feeling the pain, the trauma. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we have to move forward nevertheless. Um, right now, it's a little, you know, it's taking us back a little because it's, it's been a long time, you know. It's been 27 years. And, you know, there's been very little to know uh, a, a communication from the you know Las Vegas Police Department on the case where the case was uh, it's got passed on to to supervisor to su different supervisors different leads and they've retired or they passed the case I don't know but um any accountability at this point is good so we're thankful you know to to all of us, <clears throat> Tupac was a legend. He was uh, larger than life. He's he's like Marilyn Monroe. To you, he's mm -hmm. your brother. Uh, you know, he's special. He's very different to you than to, to the rest of us and to the rest of your family. How are you all processing it? How did you all talk with each other about this big development of, of the arrest? We focus a lot on the good times. Uh, we focus a lot on the good times and um, when we're able to deal with the weight of his loss, you know, we deal with the loss. <clears throat> um, uh, my, my, my nieces, nephews, my sister, my brothers, you know, we all miss him and um, but we don't want to be, you know, jerked around. You know what I mean? We don't want to be jerked around. There's still a lot of things to be told. Um, the, the timing is curious. Uh, this guy's been there the whole time. Uh, he's been talking about it the whole time. Why haven't you followed up on this lead? till now, um, and why now, you know, who are the conspirators, uh, uh, um, what was the motive? You know, these are all questions still that need to be answered, so, you know, we're bracing. What's your initial reaction to Keefe D being arrested? It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet for a, a, a number of reasons. Uh, the, the time, of course, 27 years. Mm -hmm. And um, it didn't have to be this way. You know, it didn't have to happen at all. You know, I hate even have to live with the reality that I, my yeah. brother's not here. Exactly. You know, so. so what does justice look like for you and your family? I mean, uh, justice is uh, accountability. That's the, the, the sweet part. It's, it's bittersweet, but, uh, you know, some form of accountability and um, brace. I'm bracing for, because it ain't over. Um, you know, we have yet to see, you know, we still got to see if there's accomplices. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we still got to see the motive. Has uh, the Vegas PD been in contact with you and your family at all during this investigation? Finally, yeah. Just now, or did they let you know? D d just recently, just recently. Okay. But the detective that did reach out, he has since retired. So, okay. you know, that seems to be so, a pattern in Pac's case. Okay. Did, but, so, you know. Did you know that KPD was going to be arrested today? Uh, no. Keep your popcorn. We're still waiting for, for things to unfold. Um, 
the universe is working, Pac mm-hmm. is still, Pac is still here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So stay tuned. Stay you know, tuned. stay tuned. After 27 years and numerous theories about why police made no headway in the murder investigation of legendary rapper Tupac Shakur, a grand jury today handed down an indictment against a man who has long placed himself at the scene of the crime. Sir Seidner is more on the investigation surrounding the murder of a trailblazer who was just 25 years old when he was gunned down. Tupac Amaro Shakur was gunned down in Las Vegas in a drive-by shooting in 1996. At the time, he was one of the most prolific voices of a hip-hop generation. Shakur's lyrics read like poetry and give an unvarnished look at the life he was born into, a life he called thug life. Years later, people still confuse what his brother meant by thug life. The core of it is about looking out the poor, looking out for the poor, the disenfranchised, and the kids. If you don't look out for the kids, they could turn out to be a monster. A lot of times, kids in these communities are forgotten about, left out, shorted. Tupac's music explored themes about poverty, street violence, black liberation, and the love between a mother and son. Mama cast me through the whoop lived a version of the American dream, as well as an American nightmare. He was a young black man who unchained himself from extreme poverty. His school friends say his nose was always in a book, always learning, but it was his music and acting that set him apart. Tupac was extremely passionate, very honest, and um, raw in his approach to, to communicating. He became a world-famous icon of a then-emerging genre of music, hip-hop, only to be gunned down at just 25 years old near a Las Vegas street corner. Retired Las Vegas police lieutenant Chris Carroll was first on the scene that September day. I ended up uh, pulling Tupac out of the car. Uh, I spoke to him. He was still alive. He was still breathing. I was asking him who did it, who shot him, what happened. And uh, that's when he responded to me with the now infamous words, F you. To put it mildly, Shakur was not a fan of police. One reason, his mother says, he experienced police violence while still in her her womb. Alfani Shakur recounted the FBI charging into her home, guns out and carting her off to jail. She was a member of the Black Panthers. She defended herself in court and won her case against the state. He was born one month and three days after we were acquitted. Tupac also had his own run-ins with violence in the law. I will make this court um, proud if they give me the chance to do so. I mean, I'm sure you don't need to see another black face behind bars. He was a natural-born fighter for black causes, born of members of the Black Party. I am his mother, and to a large extent, I feel as though Tupac came into this world carrying my Black Panther part, Party pass was his baggage. He himself was shot five times during a robbery in Quad Studios at Times Square, and he survived. But he always thought East Coast rappers had set him up. He was arrested multiple times, accused of violence, but Tupac went to prison after being convicted of sexual abuse in 1995. That happened about a month before the release of his album, Me Against the World. I got nothing to do. 27 years after his death, his music is still as relevant as ever. In 1996, Los Angeles police did pick up and question a man they say belonged to a gang. Orlando Anderson was named a suspect in the case, but he was never charged. Were you involved in any way in the death of Tupac Shakur? No, I was not involved. I mean, I'm like a victim. You know what I'm saying? I feel, you know what I'm saying, sorry for him. The night of Tupac's murder, surveillance showed Anderson being beaten by Shakur and his aunt. Thoughts are, yeah, this information has been out there. What took so long? It's a type of victory, you know. Um, it's bittersweet still. Stay tuned. I miss my brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the, all of that, I miss my brother. So, um, you know, I, 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 I'm glad something's happening. And Sarah Seidner joins us now. Um, what more do we know about the indictment? You know, it's interesting. It's just a true bill, so it's only a couple of pages. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, you look through it, and, you know, you've, you've got some things, some themes here. You've got this man who was the uncle of the initial prime suspect. The guy who in was case. interviewed back, Orlando Anderson. That's right. So you have his uncle. Just two months ago, they went and searched his house, and everyone was shocked 
that they were still investigating this 27 years later. But when you look through this, there's always been this talk of these two men being in a gang that is mentioned here, that he was a part of the Southside Compton Crips, and they say that he purchased, police say he purchased the weapon that was used in the killing. Now, he has always said, he's come out himself and, and sort of said, yeah, I was there, um, but he always denied. Tupac Shakur's family is responding to news of a long-awaited arrest in his 1996 murder case. Dwayne Davis, known as Keefe D, who has long been considered a suspect, was taken into custody on Friday. In a statement over the weekend, Shakur's sister called the arrest a pivotal moment. Jamie Yukas has more on the long-running investigation of a crime that rocked the hip-hop world. Out of bail, fresh out of jail, California dream when he was killed in a drive-by shooting near the Las Vegas Strip in 1996. For 27 years, there were no arrests until now. This is the indictment we've been waiting almost three decades for. Friday, police took Dwayne Keefe D. Davis into custody and accused him of providing the gun and orchestrating the hit on Shakur. In retaliation, stepbrother Moprim Shakur says the arrest is long overdue. We've been in pain, <laughs> with a lack of information, lack of concern for 27 years. Las Vegas authorities insist they never gave up on the investigation, but that a lack of evidence prevented them from moving forward. That all changed in 2018 when Davis admitted he was involved in the drive-by shooting in a series of interviews, including this one with BET. Who shot Tupac? to keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat for me. About two months ago, police raided Davis's home in search of items they described at the time as concerning the murder of Tupac Shakur. With Davis, now 60 years old, set to be arraigned on Wednesday, Shakur's brother says he remains cautiously optimistic. We just want justice for Pac. He deserves it. He deserves it. He's a, a one of our... Uh, 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 it's yes. warming up now. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's warming Somebody up was sure. very chatty, and now he's uh, paying the price mm -hmm. for that. But right I'm glad that. they have an answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. They have an answer. Well, they think 